Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the Mercedes GL. This is the GL350. That's the engine bay. But today what we are going to be talking about is something extremely interesting. You can see that right on the top. So this is from 2015 before the GL became the GLS running on 275-55-19s. And the car is humongous in terms of size, but you know, the new car is going to rather the new model of the GLS is going to be launched as soon as this month itself. Yeah, 17 June, I believe. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick walk around before we get driving. You see, changes have been done to the steering wheel. Yeah, the steering is now closer to the chest because nobody sits here in the first place. Headrests have been removed at the front. We've got three sunroofs in this car and obviously plenty of features as well. And uh, that multi-information display is saying adaptive high beam something something but the infotainment system is kind of on the smaller side however this mercedes key is so overused in almost every car anyways the seats are extremely comfortable and you know get the memory function as well you can save up to three people settings behind you can see there's good amount of space on offer yeah that's right five people very comfortable in fact seven people also very comfortable because this is a proper seven seater it's a car you can take to touring you can take it to places you know why because it's got a 100 liter fuel tank that's massive Ford Matic obviously even with all the seven seats up you know there's a decent amount of space on offer for storage yeah that's right as well and you know press a button to close that as well but we really don't care about the GL now do we we care about this so let me climb up there right away and let's talk about that Face to face, the back of your car And you swore we never go this far Hit me up six months later Asking me for another favor And you know I never say no Asking me just to tell me I should go Fast forward, now we're together Can you close the door? I have no clue how much of audio disturbance will happen on the top so here we are on the top and of course it's got a roll cage just in case it rolls but it will not because the controls are so well laid out firstly this is a logitech steering wheel it says drifting but you're not going to do any of that it says momo here and yeah you can see the controls of the playstation yeah not the playstation but of the steering wheel for the console of course and uh, there's the pedal so that's a brake pedal that's the actuator pedal this is the gas selector okay just it's absolutely crazy how everyone is coming here okay this is a gas selector just pull it to get into drive push it to get into reverse and press it so that you get into parking okay and uh, i mean it's comfortable the seat is very comfortable this is the horn yeah the horn is loud and nice as well these mirrors come from a kdm rc390 rc200 rc120 or whatever you want to call it give a good view of what's around as well and you get a great view when driving this vehicle too now let me quickly turn so moving around is not a big of an option here but there's storage space here which is very thoughtful and obviously we've got three point seat belt too just in case and the seats are extremely comfortable too so they kind of hug you and they're soft as well so when you pilot this car from the top the feeling is just surreal but let's me tell you something straight away For someone who's as tall as me there's good amount of space enough i can spread my legs completely because this seat actually can be reclined so you press this button it reclines now it's on the maximum recline angle at the moment and now there's only one thing left which is to start driving let's get going all right we are all set to go which means getting it into drive mode and <laughs> all right we are driving a mercedes gl with all the controls on the top you can see on the small window that the actual steering wheel is moving right now but it's there's no one inside the car i'm driving it from the top of the vehicle and just see the way people are going to be looking at me right away so my goodness this is absolutely crazy because what a view of what's around mind-boggling let's get into the gas and i feel so scared while getting into the gas because i'm not used to this this is a stunt car this is a mercedes gl 350 cdi which produces 258 horsepower and 620 newton meters of torque which comes in at just 600 rpm on the gas and my goodness the pull is oh my god my god the acceleration is absolute immediate from this motor my goodness what a car the whole feeling of driving this is something else now this runs a seven speed automatic gearbox and this automatic is a torque converter which obviously offers decent amount of shifts 
but you know the bigger problem is that the shifts rather the down shifts are a bit on the slower side but that said let's focus a bit on this whole system let me tell you straight away that's absolutely mind boggling okay what omkar and his team have done at dno motorsports because what they have done is they've shifted the controls from inside the cabin to on top so that a stunt driver can drive this vehicle meanwhile the actors can do what they do best which is act without having to worry at all about you know driving the car the steering wheel will move on its own i just hope the wind noise isn't that much because yeah there's a lot of wind now the suspension is on the softer side but there's just too much movement somehow and that movement is largely because that this uh, gl is super soft and it crashes through bad bumps but on smooth roads it does a great job there are three drive modes on offer this comfort there's eco the sport yeah in typical mercedes affair so the ride just feels so much better in sport mode over bad roads because that firmness is there yeah when i say bad roads i don't mean the ones filled with potholes because on potholed filled roads it just crashes through the worst of roads i'm honestly feeling right now are uncle horn maarne se kuch nahi hone wala band karo horn he forgot that he's on the horn because after seeing the car he went absolutely berserk what a machine this car weighs 2450 kgs but now obviously it weighs more because of this whole system now the good thing or rather the real highlight here is the fact that you know they can shift controls to the inside it's going to take a couple of hours for omkar to do it and turn this into a regular gl so when this is not a stunt car it's a regular car wow okay there's a lot of wind resistance i should have actually opted for the helmet setup right now someone wants to make an overtake i can see every nook and corner of this car i have to keep correcting the steering wheel the gl steering doesn't offer much feel and feedback as such it's light it's easy to pilot but you know this steering is really i mean stiff or offers much more feel and feedback although i really don't get a good view of the nose of the vehicle that said people want to overtake and if i want them to go all i have to do is yeah get on the gas the acceleration is absolutely immediate i mean look at the way this oh my god i can do any sort of speed that's the level of performance on offer from this mercedes gl not taking a u turn can be a bit of a hassle because obviously the <laughs> The turning radius is massive of the Mercedes GL. The GL is a massive car in the ra ra real sense. It's so big in terms of size. The turning around can be a bit of an issue, but you know there is a mirror. There are mirrors over here which give you a good view of what's around. This guy has lost his mind. All he does is honk. I don't know why. Okay, so we're going to make a U-turn right now. Okay, are we going? Yes, we are. So here we're going to take a U-turn right now, which means that we're going to pop my hand out. But the impatient folks are not going to let me, you know, make my maneuver at the moment. But still. We're just going to do it right away, and uh, everybody is just now taking pictures, taking videos. We're going to get onto the gas right away. There we go for a stunt car. This one is absolutely mind-blowingly phenomenal. I just hope my audio is clear right now because I'm shouting. What an absolute brilliant piece of engineering done in India! Unbelievable. Usually, all this is done abroad, but this particular feat being pulled off in India is something. Really unbelievable and worth applauding as well. I realized that the GL moves around way more than I expected it to. Well, it's because the ride is on the choppier side, but this car behaves like I mean, what a stunt car! What convenience of actually doing stunt driving in this vehicle. This is super duper cool. This particular Mercedes GL, when it was launched in the Indian market, was priced around rupees 90 lakhs, and they had the first edition thing going on first, uh, which had bigger wheels. This one obviously has. Uh, smaller wheels which are obviously more usable somehow but you know i had never ever thought that an indian company could make something as cool and as massively insane in terms of technology like this and this has surprised me both in the good way as well as in the shocking way that such a feat has been achieved wow what absolute brilliance and the system works so well that i can go on endlessly praising it as well So every time you move, just look at the way people are looking. They are just like baffled. How is this even working? And most of them actually end up seeing inside to realize that there's no one who's driving the car. Wow! So the whole car has been made in a way that it's for stunt driving, which means that the actors can do what they do best, which is act inside the car. Meanwhile, people at the uh, inside the car in the rear can obviously work on what they do best, which is shoot. And the GL makes for a great car because it's a spacious vehicle. and it's humongous in terms of size so this got good amount of space to you know mount your cameras and do all that and more and this car is actually be made for a top bollywood director so yes this is world class manufacturing happening here in india world class engineering this is what is atmanirbhar bharat amazing isn't it now you can get a used uh, mercedes gl for around this model year this i think 2015 
for somewhere around rupees 20 25 lakhs and then get your own stunt car by getting it modified as well but then obviously unless and until you have a use of a stunt car there's no point doing it as well but there's a lot of body roll specifically because already the gl had a lot of body roll this was before the gl became the gls which i believe happened with the facelift of the vehicle and as you can see i mean this is an eye candy everyone is looking around and i think there are drops of rain which are coming as well wipers are not needed because there's no screen ahead of you although i recommend to wear a helmet while driving it because as you build on the pace now somehow all the dust comes in your eye but that's not the point the point is that the feeling of driving from this height can even make truckers feel inferior <laughs> because you are above them in terms of height what a view of what's around i mean this is i would like to name this car as the drone car because you can see everything and more around you what a brilliant machine what an experience and simply mind-blowing i mean these are controls from a video game here and that's the reason you have to recalibrate your mind because i play a lot of video games so when i sat here i was like i'm in a video game but i'm not i'm driving this in real life wow what a feel good amount of ground planes this car is also very off-road capable but i don't uh, recommend anyone going off-road with this setup on but the setup can be removed and becomes a normal gear that's absolute brilliance that's absolutely something which makes it a very practical machine in the real sense so if you like this vlog you know what you have to do give it the thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video also bye bye